Hey yo, what's up YouTube? This is Louis Terrors here and welcome back to another episode of Train Set Race or Train Set and today we are racing between uh well two locomotives from the Ameri from America, I guess. No, we're not really. I mean one of them is from Canada technically, but but yeah, well just they kinda came from the same continent. Yeah, that I guess. So anyways, today we are racing between both uh, American Freedom Class G4S steam engine or the G4 I guess I don't know that's, what's, what's the name of it and CNUG Northern Local, Northern Class I, I, I don't know what it is called but um but yeah uh the C this uh so wait this is the GS I will, uh, I'm just gonna, the GS-4 comes from the American and you may recognize this locomotive as I think was it what Starlight? I think it was is in the orange one. Is the is, is the orange one? But yeah, it's the same type of locomotive. But sadly, sadly, Train the Driver Two doesn't have it. Only have this one. So yeah, this is available in CN Country USA and the other CN. This is the the U G the U the U two G is from technically almost like every like Canada map. So. It's pretty easy to find, but some are big boy if you look at the scenario from there. It depends, but yeah. But before we depart, quick whistle. And that's that. And uh, GS-4. Get them lined up then, shall we? Now, depending on the race, okay, and I, I never raced with them before, but since I just see them as a like, two big engines of, of each state, I, I, I don't know, can I call them states or country? But, yeah. Anyways. Now, depending on uh, how fast, look, just once they reach the, their top Run, just once they reach the, their top speed, and that'll be it. That'll be it. And then closest to the, and then uh before or before which finish line will be that finish line because I, I have said like three of them. One is a short one, and then the other, and there's the other one who which is the mid the midpoint one. Then then the last one which is well here, aka back to the starting line. And this is just a simulator. Just saying, this is just a simulator. This isn't really technically real, so don't trust this speed in train set. Some might, some may be wrong. Some may be right. I don't know. And both of them are pulling four coaches. This comes from the Canada pack. If you wanna, if you wanna get these coaches, technically you need to get. You can get the Toronto one, it gives like a huge map and uh, plenty, of, uh, pl plenty of rolling stock, including engines as well, by the way. Uh, I think that's it, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Well, that be good enough. And uh, these coaches come, from, come with the GS 4. And uh, the other one again comes from the Canada. It's uh, probably any Canada maps, I guess. But yeah, and also new engine. One of the new engines I bought. Anyways, let's go. Let the race begin in three, two, one, go.
again, depending on their top speed, and whoever just un until these two locomotives get to their top speed and can actually race against each other, then I will see what the finish line would be like. I don't know. Again, because I never, I actually never really like drive. Them like that. Maybe I should do a scenario on them maybe one day. But I think I might got a, I I think I got a scenario plan for the next episode of train set. Fifty away! You're going fifty kilometers per hour. Or fifty five right now. And then you do how about the Yuzu G is going like ninety kilometers per hour. Streamliner only going like 70, 70 kilometers isn't is, is, is just right. It, it's just not right. I think it might. Okay, so top speed of the U2G is 107 kilometers per hour and 67 miles per hour. Quite slow. Say. Let's check on the GS. This is it's zero increasing speed. How fast is it going to stop? Don't stop. How fast can you go? Hundred six. Hundred eight. Okay, it's faster than the UG U2. Okay, well, 112, 113. How fast? Oh my god. Okay, if it's just a short distance, then the U2G is definitely going to win. A hundred and twenty-one. A hundred and twenty-two. Oh my god! Anyways, while, while, while the U2G is crashing up, I'm I mean, GS-4 is crashing up, let's go here. It's just the mountain type. It's the mountain type cap, so... Sadly, there's no interior for the carriages, just... Although from the, from the outside, you can kind of see the interior. This is the coach. Oh, yeah, the, the, this is the Canadian right? The Canadian is the so, Yeah, it, it, it has interior. I like it. And this is the dining. The dining car. You see the right here. It's not really detailed on this coach, to be honest. And the next one is uh, a dome buffet car. Dome. And uh, I don't know why it's called buffet, but I guess somewhere, somewhere. You can get food, I guess, snacks or whatever. And this is the observation dome car. Whoa! Holy hell! Whoa. Okay, top speed is 140 feet, we can end up anything. No! Why? Okay, I I I underestimated I underrest I underestimated the There's no cab view. But 
can't really see in front of it. So top speed for the GS-4 is 143 kilometers per hour, kilometers per hour, and it's 89 miles per hour at this top speed. Well, actually, we can have a winner. Already. We have a rent. We have a winner already. Already, we have a winner. Well, the winner is pretty obvious. Congratulations, uh, GS-4. Okay, let's break. Yeah, that's it for the race, by the way, because it's they, they both reached their top speed, so this finish line is the closest, so yeah. Hence why this is the finish line. They both reached top, th their top speed, so there's no point on continuing racing it, so. Those the UG to the UCG. So the acceleration for the UCG is better than the GS-4. So that that's the score. Anyways, uh, these are the coaches. There's one, two, three, four. They all have different names. Uh, they have a, like a huge consist, but I didn't bother to put them all in because it's just going to be too long. And this is the American Freedom Car 202. This is a 203, 204, and 205. There are more cars, you can find them in sets in the USA. In the USA. Sadly, they don't have the, any interior at all. This is pretty crap. Interior. That was just, this is just a cab. Uh, observation car, I guess. It's pretty. This is the most weirdest interior. Why the texture is this? This doesn't make any sense. But yeah, the, this is the, the, the last car is a bit blue, I guess. That texture for the side, I guess. This window, that window is warm. So, and uh, yeah. Actually, I wanna, I'm curious. You look for not Yeah, you know, this door tends to be. At least, at least they give a bit of detail, I guess. Kind of. There's a bell. Oh, there's a bell. There's a bell here as well. And yeah, I mean it's actually pretty cool if you look think about it. But I would say the only good uh wait. The only good thing about this is just that I mean it's pretty cool. If you really want a good observation coach, if you really want a good observation coach, like you know like this, then definitely go for the. I would definitely suggest you to go with the blue comet one because it has actual in like I think interior of the observation coach. So like your when you go into the cap view, you can go into the observation deck view. So it's, it's pretty cool. You can look at the behind or whatever is behind the train. So it's pretty cool. But I don't know. I did I did do uh I did did a blue comet scenario back then in uh, one of the train set videos. You, you guys can check it out if you want to. I'm gonna bring this train up so that it can line up again. Well, they're actually lined up. Uh, it's not the line, so. Funny, funny thing is for the, for the, for the G, for the, for the U2G, you can act, when it's turned on the light patch, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool.
get to the corner. Maximum light. But the light is super, super bright. It is just like this view. Super nice. I think if you do this at night time, it will be Oh, a funny fact. If, if you if you if you use the GS dash four, look at the top. I honestly don't understand why it's just floating wheels. For some reason, uh, whoever made this, I mean, I think I think he might have missed an issue. Like, what the hell is this? There's even side rods. And another wheel as well. What the hell is wrong with this model? <laughs> Sound loud, loud, isn't it? Oh, right, right. Uh, I think they both use oil or fuel? diesel. I think. Uh, uh, do they even use diesel? Well, uh, what do they use? No, what do they use? Please comment down below. I do not know. But yeah, anyways. Okay, that's all for today's uh, train set race. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wish to, then just if you guys wish to see more to do, well, if you want, if you guys wish to see me more, see me to do more train set races, uh, please comment down below on what train you want me to race between with next. And also, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never ever miss a video like this. And I also do Pokemon Sword, Trade, okay, okay, duh. Danger to Go, Airline Commander, and Roblox Nomian Legacy. And like this video if you liked it. And after this, and uh, guys, one more announcement. After this train set video, uh, I will be probably taking a one week break so that I could uh, finish up the pages for uh, railway stories of Rolleswift. I will try complete around two or three pages so that after that it will be back to normal and then there will be one more extra train set video and then it will just continue and I will make I will sometimes make another video for suggestions because you know nobody really comments so do take the chance okay so anyways uh, that's all for today and uh see you see you guys in one week then <laughs> and uh, anyways Lutus Wake signing off peace out and uh, goodbye <laughs>